Okay. Hey, I'm running the the game a little bit differently. It, it should be a lot smoother video. I'm starting to notice, maybe because just the application's getting bigger or whatever, that it's not quite tracking the hand as good as it is. Like, this is really smooth, but in the app, it's getting worse. And uh, this picture should also be a lot um, higher res. Instead of capturing inside the application, um, I'm running a compiled version, and it should be a lot smoother. Okay, lots of stuff gotten done uh, that uh, I was fixing some problems with uh, the animation. <sighs> it's just all this stuff that wasn't working right, and I figured a lot of stuff out, and we'll just walk through it. Uh, oh, man, it's just so much smoother. I, again, I just run it in the app a lot of times. Oh, I should have turned around. So the outer doors closed or like the inner doors of the the waiting lounge, and then um, the inner door. So we go, all right, I fixed the speed. So I learned a lot. Like one, I thought I had all this stuff working, then I didn't, and then it wasn't, and then figured this whole bunch of stuff out. One thing I'm figuring out with testing was like testing this over and over, getting to space work, and it's like, ah, oh, it just takes forever, and it was just taking long to test. I forgot that I can actually adjust the speed. So in the app, I was actually running this probably three times as fast as this. So it was kind of it was easy to kind of cook away. The next thing is I've stepped away from the door. I didn't understand how something was working correctly. So there was something called, there's on trigger stay, on trigger enter, on collision enter, on collision stay. So all these functions to get triggered, just the way it's written is that the, what stuff that has to collide with them also needs a rigid body. And I can't use a rigid body because I'm in space. It would just basically fall to nothing. So, but there's a way to disable it called a uh, comedic option. So I thought I had this thing working originally, but it turned out it wasn't. It was the the rigid body that makes up the head of the player was actually triggering this thing. So there's basically an invisible wall where the the ship runs into and you just don't see it. And it was actually my head triggering it. So we stop, that opens. See so how that time is that that animation runs and then the next animation runs. So Another issue, um, so once I figured out, there's actually, you can kind of see, there's that's kind of, I got to make that smaller, that collision. It doesn't need to be that big. But I was just kind of paranoid because it just wasn't working. Uh, that, does it set off? Okay, which it shouldn't. Uh, so then that was the issue too, so I had to figure that out that I was um, not collision that thing correctly. The next weird thing that I had, oh, God, that was the other thing. So I have to open up that inner door. Why am I using my left hand the whole time? I should just use both headsets when I record. Or I'll try to use the hands the next time. So the next issue I had was that I thought I had to track when the spaceship or the ship was docked on the the, the lounge or here because it was just like, oh, uh, I don't want this animation to play over and over again. Or like or like when the door closed to open up this inner door when it's in space stock. So I had all these issues and I was like, all right, let me track where things are at. But then after that I realized I was using the wrong animation. So when you kind of make these animations, there's two animations that you make. Uh, I make one closing the door and I make one opening the door. Well, I had it tracked when I closed the door after that was open, open this, which is incorrect. It's actually the other animation when this opens, then that's done, then that opens the door. So I had that wrong. So then there was another thing. So we walk into here, this door closes and this goes and it should blink for five times. I forgot to count it, but it should. And then that opens. Oh my God, this took me so fucking long. Anyway, and then, oh, and then it closes too. I'm not turning around fast enough. But so the next problem I had is in the tunnel, then it was like there. And then I thought I had this previous problem where these have to be two different hatch doors because the animation doesn't work right. And 
it wasn't that it just for whatever reason i unchecked the animator on this object and that's why it wasn't animating so i realized i did that then i did that then all this stuff fucking worked oh my god this just took me like two hours this morning to get it all right and it's just a few minutes oh and it's just like it was something that i thought i had like a few days ago and then like i was trying to run it and then it wasn't and and then there, so I had to go and kind of debug everything, but now it works. So today, I again, I'm hoping I can work crazy and stuff on this, is that uh, working on, so you can see this interactivity. So my, my goal is, at least today, hopefully more, is that I can reach in, pull the trigger. As I pull the trigger out, I pull an item that's attached to um this controller because that basically so what's going to happen is is that i'm actually going to have like a like a virtual belt that you're going to put on your body so it's going to be floating here and that's when you're going to get the items and stuff to pull out and so the next i gotta i gotta figure out the code to and i almost forgot all this stuff i'm gonna have to go look it up again uh that um so like to figure that out and then so like yeah that's the step where i pull out with this but then also, too, I'm probably going to switch all the objects and stuff that we like use to make the burgers and stuff into that object pool, which I'm using for the ketchup and mustard, which is months back. I haven't even looked at like, that stuff yet uh, again. So create an object pool for everything so it doesn't like hang the system as more and more stuff you make. So it's like you make the burger, they go out in the restaurant, they disappear, and then they go back on the object pool, whatever. So, but yeah, so get this, pull something out, and then just kind of be able to pull stuff out, maybe create multiple ones, then create an item that appears on the thing. <sighs> I don't have much time. At least, hopefully, I can get something there. But, oh, this moves so much smoother than it does in the app. <laughs> like, like, I'm starting to notice, I mean, it doesn't give you headaches, but man this i mean i think in the app it seems like it's doing god it could be maybe doing 60 frames um and then i mean i don't know if this is doing 90 frames or 120 frames per second i know that's like the limit of the vive headset where it can do 120 but i think a lot of stuff is just 90 frames per second so all right just wanted to make a video out there to get stuff done all right back to it talk to you guys later